Hello and welcome to uh, Braintree High School here as the softball game is underway. It actually began about 10 minutes early and we are just a couple of hitters in now to the top half of the first inning. Mike Watson bringing the coverage here on BCAM TV. So a strikeout beginning the inning as Branchy trying to continue in the winning path after a road victory against Walpole earlier this week. As this one's tap foul. Ready and the pitch, and this one popped up on the infield, playable. First base side, and able to make the catch in fair ground. And a couple quick outs here in the top half of the first in a scoreless game. Braintree and Weymouth. So a strikeout and a pop up in foul ground to begin the inning. As the Wildcats enter today's action at one and one. As this one fly to left field, playable. Actually make that right field and caught. As Braintree with a very quick top half of the inning as they go one, two, three. And the Braintree bats will get an opportunity in a scoreless game. Bottom half of the first inning as the Braintree Bats trying to get things started. As McPhee leads things off and a line drive into center field for a leadoff single. So a good start for the Braintree offense. So a stolen base now as Braintree has a runner at second. So the McPhee sisters going one and two in the Braintree order. A little different look than we have seen. Daiuti to follow as the pitch is upstairs. That's a strike. So the count starting to fill up. As this one is over to third base, and the third baseman cannot make the play. So Braintree now has him at the corners. Actually, the runner from second did not advance. So now Braintree has him at first and second with still nobody out. So a single and an error. Stolen base also. So it'll be Diuti here in a spot, trying to give Braintree the lead here at home. As this one's blasted out to the outfield, that's gonna be up and over the head of the outfielder. As this one's gonna get down and one run scores, here comes a second, Diuti digging for third. The throw is off the mark and Diuti now will stop at third with a two run triple. So the game's first two runs coming courtesy of Diuti's triple. Go, 
Ready for the pitch, and this one's downstairs. From the starter, Smith. Weymouth still has not gotten an out here in the bottom half of the first. As O'Neill now batting. Sitting in the driver's seat. And that one right there down the middle. Didn't have the green light on the count, but that was a great pitch to hit. As this one's knocked to the screen. So the count now fills. As this one up the middle and into center field, another base hit. And another run pushed across as Braintree with the three spot here in the bottom half of the first. So the three, four hitters delivering both RBI. Or in this case now, three RBI because one of them was responsible. Diuti for two of the runs. So a three nothing lead, the first four have reached. An error helped out Braintree in this inning as a big cut from Stenman. Braintree coming off of a victory over Newton North has this one off to right field. That's going to be dangerous, and it's a fair ball. As that one gets down and digging for second, and the runner now being sent around, and all the way to the plate it goes. The tag is not going to be applied as the catcher can't catch it cleanly, and Braintree has put up four in the inning. So everybody knocking the ball around for Braintree here in the inning as we'll have a very quick meeting at the mound as Braintree has picked up where they left off in the victory yesterday. And they are really putting the ball in play with regularity here in this inning. The young able to retire the side in order. In the top half of this inning, Braintree has started single error, triple to bring in a couple runs, single to bring in a run, and another triple to bring in a run. 4 nothing lead. As Wayne is still searching for the first out here of the bottom half of the first. It's Braintree putting up a crooked number. And Harvey now gets a chance. Six hitter in the order, and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Victory here today would put Braintree back at 500 after two straight losses to begin the year against tough opponents. Ready on the pitch, and this one's blasted to the screen. As this one all the way to the backstop, the runner takes off from third and scores on the wild pitch. Still no outs. Braintree trying to continue this inning. And the pitch is foul tipped. 
Actually, they're going to say that was not foul tipped. It's going to be strike three. So the bases are empty with now the first out of the inning. And the pitch is a strike. So a chance here for Malcolm. Spring nearing, hitting through the order. So that one's inside. And a big swing and a miss. Smith trying to do some damage control here in the inning. And now a swing and a miss and back to back strikeouts. So the bases are empty with two down. As that one's down low to Westerfeld, right to catcher. One popped up, that's going to reach foul territory, back behind the dish. First five reached, and all scored. The last two have struck out. And that's one off deep to right field, that's going to get down, and another set of extra bases as Frankie digs for Two and now trying for three, and the throw is not going to be in time as it gets away from the third baseman. Certainly one that Weymouth should have had. They had Braintree right there, dead in the water, but the throw was not handled properly, and it turns into a triple thanks to the error. Second of the inning. Braintree for a rare time this season, putting on the speed to try and take extra bases, which hasn't been something they've done during the course of the season up until now. So maybe they're trying to be a little bit more aggressive on the base paths. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it helps. We saw the same actually thinking back to that game that Braintree lost against Abington. It was Abington who pulled the same card and just ran around and Braintree did make a few mistakes themselves on the throws that probably should have had outs on, but still they put the pressure on the defense and the offense won that battle. Branch trying to do the same thing here. As the pitch is a little bit high, Sprintree has now batted around. They're at the number nine hitter. As that one cut on and missed. So a base runner at third with two down. Braintree has scored five times so far. Enjoying what is a comfortable start. And a strike called to end the inning. So actually ends up being a strikeout of the side for the pitcher Smith. As Braintree does do the damage though with five runs here in the first inning. And we head to the second with Braintree leading five nothing. Top half of the second inning. As Braintree trying to make quick work again. We got the one, two, and three hitters for Weymouth in order. Back in the first, as this one's lifted foul. Leung back out for another inning of work. And the 
pitch. It's a pretty good spot there, but not getting the call on a pitch down and away. As that pitch is upstairs. That one bounces in. So the count now has filled up here to the leadoff hitter of the second inning. So wind picks up a little bit. And that one tap foul, so the at-bat continues. And now a first out here of the inning. So Braintree doing a nice job here with the pitching to start this game. A couple of putouts from the pitcher Leung. And now a free pass. So the first base runner for Weymouth. So Perez, Reed, and Kelsch retired one, two, three in the first. Smith able, actually make that Palazzo able to reach after Smith was retired. So one on and one down here in the second. As this one knocked up in the air and out of play. That one gets all the way to the screen and the runner advances a second. Trying to get a little further and there will be no further advancement, just second. This one's popped up on the infield, playable over at second. And there is out number two. So a strikeout, a hit batter, and a pop-up in the inning. Uh, Sellin now bats in the seventh spot. As this one's hit hard, out towards center field, but playable. Out there to make the catch is McPhee. A couple steps to a right to make the catch, and the side is retired. So Braintree with another quick inning with the pitching, as they have now retired six of seven they faced, and they have a five-nothing lead. Heading to the bottom of the second. Bottom of the second and the first pitch, a called strike. Uh, pitch down. So it'll be the top of the order for Braintree, second time through now as we play here in the second inning. McPhee leading things off. She tries to get on base for the second time in as many innings. Five runs back in the first for Braintree. Weymouth yet to score. As McPhee with the swing on a pitch that was inside. Doesn't make contact. Smith, who is starting and still pitching now for Weymouth, actually struck out the side back in the first inning. As McPhee again blasts this one to the outfield and coming over to make the catch for the opening out. This 
one on the ground right back to the mound as McPhee first pitch swing is retired and the first two have gone quickly. So Diuti, who had that two-run triple back in the first inning, steps in for the second time. Now five of the last six have been retired, as that one's cut on and missed. Opportunity for Weymouth to have a quick inning. One, two, three. Ready for the pitch, and that one just missed. That was a pretty good spot. Looked good from out here. This one's knocked out of play. Two strikes. Left-handed hitter. And the pitch is knocked back towards foul ground and out of play. Getting ready for the two-strike pitch. And that one's upstairs. And the pitch is up, and that is a walk here with two down. It's our second time aboard for Diuti. The inning continues. Braintree with a little different looking lineup here today. First pitch is down as O'Neill bats for the second time. So no clean inning this time. RBI single last time as this one gets to the backstop and an advance to second on the pass ball. Once blasted up to center. Coming in, looking to make the catch, and it is put away for the final out here of the second. So Braintree with a two out walk, not able to score, and we head to the third in a 5 0 game. Top half of the third, and the first pitch is a strike. Quick strikes from Leung. Eight, nine, and one in the order for Weymouth here in the third. Their only base runner was a hit batter, as that one is gonna be strike three. So a third strikeout for Leung. That one's off the plate. Here to begin the number nine hitter flatly. Swing and a pitch upstairs and no contact. Evens the count. Top of the order due up next. As this one's tap foul off the leg inside the batter's box, so a foul ball. And a swing and a miss at a pitch upstairs. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to begin the inning. Mm 
next event is the boys 100. This will be a first and second call for the girls 100. First pitch, and that one spins the batter back. One second starter. Another pitch upstairs as Pira stands in. So the Wildcats trying to break up a 1 2 3 inning. Still without a run here in this game as we play with two outs here in the third. And that's a strike. A lot going on today at Braintree High School. As this one into center field, that's going to be down for the first base runner. Or with the benefit of a hit. They did have a hit batter back in the second inning. So we'll see if the runner gets in motion here with two down. Like there's a track and field event going on on the track behind the softball field. Baseball also in action. Very busy afternoon here at Braintree High School as the runner takes off. The throw down to second. The throw is going to be in time and a bang bang play. Looked like the runner may have beaten the throw, but nonetheless, it was a good strong throw from behind the plate. And the umpire calls the runner out to end the inning. So we head to the bottom half of the third. It's 5 0. Bottom half of the third, and we'll see if Braintree can get back in the offensive mood here in this inning. This one is knocked towards the outfield, and that's going to be a foul ball. So Branchy scoring five times back in the first, nothing in the second. Weymouth without a run through the first three at bats. And this one knocked up on the infield. Foul ground now, first baseman over towards the Fence cannot make the catch. And Branch will get another opportunity with the bat. So Stenman hitting, trying to go two for two after hitting an RBI triple last time. This one gets away from the catcher. Five, six, and seven in the inning. This one's hit sharply to third, and that is a foul ball. So again, Braintree given an extra opportunity here after the first baseman couldn't catch it in foul ground. Pitch was inside. And now a walk has been drawn. Just the first walk surrendered by the starter Smith. So the leadoff runner is on, and first pitch swing as this one's knocked in foul ground. So Harvey batting, who struck out back in the second.
start and stop over at first base as the pitch is high. Malcolm in the on deck circle. All the runs coming back in the first inning. As this one gets away and the runner advances second with a turn now towards third. Again, down in the dirt and the runner now for third. So Stenman continuing to read the ball. Anytime the ball has hit the dirt, just taking right off. Hoping that the catcher doesn't feel it cleanly and in either case, was the catcher able to feel it cleanly. So a good read from the base runner. Very aggressive as this one's knocked toward the outfield. That's gonna get down and the base runner will score from third on an RBI hit from Harvey. So all of that starting after the ball could not be handled in foul, foul ground. And Stemner was able to reach, then get second and third after the ball got away from the catcher and comes home on a soft single. As this one on the infield, playable at shortstop, and now the runner is doubled off, and that's a big time mistake on the Braintree base pass, but with a six nothing lead, obviously something that you're not that concerned about, but shouldn't happen in this game. So it turns into a gift double play for the visiting team from Weymouth. And that wasn't even a line drive either, that was a pop-up. Sometimes those line drives are very difficult to read. More of a reactionary thing. Maybe the base runner thought there was two outs. It's possible. As the pitch is inside. So Westerfeld batting with a double to her record. Back in the first inning. Braintree scored one so far here in the inning. They lead 6-0. The bases now are empty and there's two down. As that one's knocked back and out of play. Continuing to pick up as this one is cut on and the foul tip. Actually, the ball was just dropped by the catcher and the runner has to try and get down to first and the throw beats her to the bag for a strikeout. So that is the way it ends. The double play and the strikeout, but Braintree does scratch across one more and we head to the fourth inning with Braintree up 6-0. Top half of the fourth inning as Weymouth still trying to get one on the scoreboard, down 6 0. Braintree with their 9 1 and two hitters due up in the bottom half of this inning. Right now, Weymouth with two, three, and four in theirs. It caught stealing, ending the top half of the third inning. Braintree in at the corners. And the pitch from Leung is on the ground to shortstop. As coming across to make the play for the first out. Nice play by McPhee, who's moved over from a normal second base spot to play short. Tourette not playing here today. So the opening out here, the fourth. Reed is retired. Just one hit that came back in the third. Two base runners total. The hit batter also helping their cause. As this one's hit a mile high up in the air. And that one drops foul. A couple of players looking at it, but nobody able to make the catch for Braintree.
Looks like some action starting to throw for Weymouth in their bullpen. Potentially to come in in the bottom half of this fourth. Pitch on the way is down and in. Wildcats looking to get a base runner on here in the inning as that one tails off the plate. Wow, they called that a strike. Can't believe the umpire called that a strike. That looked clearly outside unless they're calling that a swing. But Looked like that was definitely off the plate. I know we don't have a perfect view from out here in center field, but that looked pretty evident that, that was off the plate. As this one's lifted to center field on a line and out there to make the catch is McPhee. That one a lot more black and white, pretty easy routine play in center field. As Branchu with a quick inning, one, two, three here in the fourth. As the Wildcats do not score and Branchu will bat with a six nothing lead. Bottom of the fourth inning. And the pitch in there for a strike. As this one's knocked back and out of play. Tap foul off the backstop. So Branchy scoring five times in the first. They scored once in the third. Trying to add to their total. With the commanding 6 0 lead here in the fourth. Smith winds and fires, and this one blasted to the outfield. That's going to get down. A leadoff single. So Leung helping out her own case on the mound with a base hit. You don't always see the pitchers hit. But obviously here today that is happening as that's a strike. Third time through the Braintree order. So McPhee with a single and has flied out to left. Pitch on the way. And this one gets away for a moment. Now the throw down to second will not be in time. A call that doesn't go Weymouth's way. Another close pitch. And the pitch, this one popped up. Second baseman ranging back, able to make the catch. So base runner stands at second. Pitch outside as McPhee now bats. He's done an error and has grounded out to the pitcher. Runner at second with one down and the pitch. A strike called. Very inconsistent strike zone from the home plate umpire. Difficult for not only the pitcher but for the hitter, coaches, and the announcer out here. As this one's lifted to the outfield and it finds its way down as the runner will reach third on a blue pit. Branchu with a generous ball that found its way to drop down there in center. It's not hit all that hard, but it was placed well. So two hits in the inning. They're at the corners now and with the stolen base, they're at second and third. So a base hit would probably score two. And Braintree has Dayuti up, who has not been retired yet. 
Reached on a walk and hit the two-run triple. Chance for two more RBI. Smith ready, and yeah, this one blasted down the line and just foul. That certainly had extra bases written on it. Left-handed hitter, Diuti takes the pitch and missed off the plate. Another one that missed as the count now fills. Pretty much the same spot from the prior pitch that was called the ball. Six nothing lead with two on and just the one out. This one blasted out to center. Wynn takes a play on that one as the runner tags and scores from third. And the throw comes back into the mound. So both runners advance, one scores. And Brancher takes now a 7-0 lead on the sack fly. As this one hit hard out towards left field and a shoestring catch to take away extra bases from O'Neill. Hit that one right on the button and Weymouth with a nice defensive play to end the inning. So Brancher does get another run but it could have been a lot more here in the fourth inning. As we head to the fifth, Braintree leads 7-0. Top half of the fifth, first pitch swinging, a ground ball to third, but a foul ball. So we were trying to put the ball in play on a first pitch, trying to get something going. Again, just that one hit, a single back in the third as Leung has worked pretty quickly through the order. One-on-one -on -one count. And that one off the plate for ball two. Five, six, and seven in the inning. As the pitch is a strike. Two and two count to the leadoff hitter, Palazzo. That one missed low. So the count now full. Palazzo was hit by a pitch the first time. As this one hit sharply to third and caught on a bobble. Nice catch over there at third from Harvey. They call it the hook corner for a reason. That one got in there quickly. Chance here for Fleming, who popped up to second first time around. And that one right there, down the middle. Temperature's starting to drop a bit, as that one a wild swing and a miss, and a quick strikeout. Just overmatched in the at-bat. Best pitch was probably the second one. That was right down the middle with no swing. As Sellen stands in, probably hit the ball the hardest to center last time, and goes in that same direction. Actually, a little shorter than center, and it's a shortstop back to make the catch. So that will do it here in the fifth, as Weymouth continues to be shut out here today. Braintree leads 7 0, as they will bat in a moment. First pitch here, the bottom half of the fifth inning.
7-0 lead for the home team. Springer trying to get a second consecutive victory. And Stenman takes a strike. Five, six, seven in the Braintree order. As this one's lifted to center field, playable. Now it hung up in the air a long time and the ball ends up bobbling out of the glove. And somehow Stenman finds a way to second. So reaching now for the third time. So another error for Weymouth as the runner will advance to third. Stedman has gotten now three bases on pitches that have gotten away from the catcher. Chance here to add another run to the total from Harvey. The strike. That one dips down low. Brentry with some action starting in their bullpen, probably to come out for the sixth inning. Brentry might use a new pitcher. Obviously not because of any particular reason other than they have a comfortable lead. Try and get as much work in, especially early in the season. Try and get everybody affiliated with their normal routine. As this one on the ground to third base, runner takes off, will score. The throw is high, but first baseman able to hold the bag, and the run does score. It's 8 0. So an RBI from Harvey, second of the game. Base is now empty with one out, first pitch swing, and a pop up on the infield. Pitcher wants to take it and it hits the pitcher's glove and the second time in this inning we have seen a ball glance off a glove. And Weymouth just not making the plays that they should make here. It's a pretty routine play. So the runner does reach at first on the second error of the inning. Changes upcoming, it looks like. Umpire writing it down. Pitch on the way, and this one on the ground to third. The throw is in time for the out as the first baseman runs it back into the mound and there's two down. Number nine hitter, Leung, who singled last time, is also struck out. As the pitch is a called strike. Runner stands at second with two down here in the bottom half of the fifth. The throwing has stopped in the Braintree bullpen. As this one hits sharply over to second base, they underhand a flip in time and the end of the inning. But a couple of costly errors allows Braintree to score a couple more runs as we head to the sixth inning. 
Braintree leading 8-0. Play resuming here in the sixth inning. As that one is cut on and missed. Strike called by home plate umpire. Eight, nine, and one in the order for Weymouth. This one's lifted to the outfield, and that's going to drop just foul. Winding and firing, and that one is low. So the at back continues. And that one floats outside. Full count to the leadoff hitter, flat lead. And that pitch is low and a leadoff walk. This is one on the ground and bobbled momentarily, but still time to tag the bag and the out is recorded. Good work there over at first base to recover from that. does advance to second. Top of the order, third time through. First pitch swing, this one blasts to the outfield. Long run for Diuti, can't make the catch. And the runner will come all the way around to score. The throw is gonna to be towards third base. And the throw is just gonna be a little bit late. Great throw from the outfield, good hustle in the outfield just to try and get a glove on that. but. A good piece of hitting, and Perez has knocked in the first run for Weymouth. Goes an RBI triple. So Weymouth will not be shut out here today as the pitch is outside. Perez with the only two hits that Weymouth has. A single back in the third, and now a triple here in the sixth inning. That's the leadoff hitter. And this one on the ground, the runner will head home the out is made at first. Rentry gives up the run to take the out, and there are now two down. Obviously not necessarily meaningless in the grand scheme, but you certainly with only four more outs needed to win this game, certainly you'll exchange an out for the run there with now a six run lead, it's a two. As this one's lifted up in the air. Short stop back to make the catch, and they go rather quickly, even though Weymouth scores twice. A quick inning in the sixth inning, and Branchu will try and get some more back with an 8-2 lead. Bottom of the sixth inning, Braintree has allowed their first two runs of this game. Now with an 8-2 lead here in the bottom half of the sixth. As the pitch is a strike. This one lifted foul, back and out of play.
That one is low. Top of the order for Braintree, fourth time now through. As this one's knocked towards the outfield, it's going to get down. Single in the center. As the runner now digs for second, and no problem there with the slide. So a second hit of the game for McPhee. Brantry looking to add to their six-run lead as the pitch is bobbled and now getting down to third and the slide is there in time. Didn't take much of a bobble, but with the speed of McPhee, pretty routine to get there to third. third and the pitch is high. That one in there for a strike. As this one hit hard to third and does find its way past the glove of the third baseman. Almost turned into a line drive double play again. But Brantry does score an insurance run to make it a 9-2 game. So Brantry's lead is seven. And now this one to center as it hops up and over the head and in towards the infield as a throw towards the infield trying for the inside the park home run and the catcher can't make the play and Diuti slides in there safely as that one ends up being an inside the park home run a pretty good relay throw from shortstop and the catcher could not handle that one cleanly and it makes it an 11-2 game here in the sixth inning. So Diuti now with the two more RBI, now with five in the game. We'll pause here with the meeting at the mound. Be back the rest of the sixth inning. Resuming, and this one into the center field. A line drive that finds its way right through. Good first pitch swing. So Brent's trying to get that 10 run lead here in the sixth as they've been able to get back three runs, two of which Weymouth scored in the top half of this inning, getting on the scoreboard at one point. It was 8 nothing. then it was 8-2. Braintree with three runs in this bottom half to make it 11-2. Looks like Branchy will have a pinch hitter here for Stenman. Who had a perfect day at the plate, reaching three times. 
French has gotten everybody into this game. To play late here in the sixth inning. Branchy looking for the mercy rule victory with one more run. As this one gets all the way to the backstop. And again, off the glove of the catcher, this one allows the runner for third. Branchy looking for one more run. As this one down, and it will be a walk as they're now at the corners. Still nobody has been retired. A leadoff double. An RBI double by McPhee. Diuti with the inside the park two run homer. A single for O'Neill and then a pinch hitter in Stenman's place. Able to draw a walk and they're at the corners with Braintree leading 11 to two. And this one lifted in the air and that's gonna draw foul. So Weymouth who thought maybe this one was gonna go to the seventh, get one more look with the bats. Not looking as good now with Braintree leading by nine runs. And still nobody out. And needing one more run to end this game by the slaughter rule. As that pitch is in there, and that is gonna be strike three. First pitch is outside. Runners at first and third. And the pitch is lifted out of play. As this one's knock foul. Outfield all the way in. And this one on the ground. The runner heads home. The throw is going to now get the runner in a run down. The throw down and the applied tag for the out. Surprise, Branchy took off there. So now runners at first and second with two down. Branchy making it a little bit more difficult on themselves here, not scoring the last two outs. Eleven two game here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. That pitch just missed. Close pitch. This one's lifted foul and out of play. And that one in there for strike three, and that ends the inning. So Braintree had a chance to close things out here in this sixth inning, but could not push one more across. We'll head to the seventh, and Weymouth now down to the final three outs, down 11-2. Top half of the seventh inning, first pitch, and this one all the way to the backstop. 
So Ramos able to survive that sixth inning to keep this game going. It looked like Braintree was going to close things out with the 10 rule, 10 run rule. Retired as this one is knocked foul at the dish. One down here in the seventh, base is empty. 11 2 lead for the home team, Braintree. And another swing and a miss. Not much contact here in the seventh inning. Pitches up. And that one right there for another strike, and that is strike three. Back to back K's here in the inning. So the Young's night done after six. Braintree has gone to the bullpen here to finish off the seventh. Looking for the final out now. Another strike. Everything has been in the zone here in the inning. From Weymouth, I'd just be swinging at this point. Everything's right there. And that one in there, strike three, three strikeouts to end the ball game. And Braintree with an easy win here today at home, 11-2 to even the record at 2-2 two and two on the season. And obviously the big work done by Diuti, who had five RBI, including that two-run inside the park home run, had a two-run triple back in the first. And that was really the story here today for Braintree, who got some good pitching from Lee Young to get the win. And Braintree improves to 2-2 two and two with the victory here at home as they play good softball here today as the game started getting a little bit chilly as the game moved along. A couple of players also reaching base three times for Braintree, including Stenman. So that will conclude our coverage of today's game. Braintree 11-2 victors here over Weymouth. On behalf of our cameraman here today, David Eric, I'm Mike Wassel. We'll see you next time.